uh, with the Treasurer Scott Morrison at Upper Coomera State College and Layla and Jade who are involved in the STEM program. Uh, Layla and Jade, thank you for making yourself available today and, and Scott, thank you for coming out up to the State College. Would you like to tell us a little bit about the STEM program and, and what you're doing with STEM at Upper Coomera State College? Sure, well, we're both the Year 12 STEM Ambassadors. So a couple of years ago, Griffith Uni started the STEM program. And so schools all around the Gold Coast uh, had their own STEM Ambassadors. So we've done lots of programs with our school during STEM. We have a um, science club with our junior school and the surrounding primary schools, which Miss Cullen does every week. Um, we are... Last year we were lucky enough to get uh, places at UQ to do a Sparkhead program so we got to go into proper labs and go and do a big program with that. Anything else? Um, we also um, we have like partnerships with Griffith University so we get to do like um, we're doing a Griffith chemistry course where we get to experience our first year at university to get pathways into university that way. Well that sounds great. I mean innovation and science is such a huge part of our economic future and particularly for you guys. Um, what I think is also great as a father of daughters is you've got two young young women here who yeah. are interested in, in STEM. Now this is fabulous. How can we get more and more of, uh, of your, your, your mates, um, female students, actually getting involved in STEM? What, what's made it work for you as STEM ambassadors um, and, and as female students? I think all the programs that our school runs, I guess we have our, we've started the science clubs in junior school, so we get a lot of girls doing that, yep. which is really good, and they're starting to become more interested. Right. And yeah, I think it's just getting them, showing them how fun it can be. Yeah. Because I think everybody thinks, oh, math, science, that's boring, but it can be really fun and interesting. Well, it is a big challenge, and we've seen it, that uh, you'll see female students up to about the age of 12 be interested but then in high school it, it tends to drift off a bit and yeah. uh, so it is really important to get female students really involved in STEM um, and we've got a Karen Andrews who's actually the assistant minister for science and she's an engineer and uh, and so she's really led the way but uh, I think they're great role models for, for women in science and in innovation and I think we're looking at two more here Bert what do you reckon? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Good on you. Well, it's well, great to be here at Upper Coomera and thanks for joining us today guys and, and well done on what you're doing in STEM and being great ambassadors for it. Thank you so much. Thank you.